Okay, next I'll show you my new J flute, also by Nuvo. This was designed, as was the other one, so that younger people with smaller hands can learn to play. Um, and that's why the J attachment is on here. If you're playing a regular flute, the mouthpiece would be way out here, and little people can't reach that far. But with the J flute, the mouthpiece comes here, and the keys are closer, you can reach them. They also have these little extensions on them, there, that you can take off here, and here, and there. Those come off when you want to, but just like the, the bumpers on bowling. I kind of like them. So otherwise, you play it just like a regular flute. Same fingering. It's got a little piece on here that goes on there. Um, and it only goes down to a D, but otherwise it's in C like a regular flute. Let's see if I can play it here. I particularly like the sound of the low register. Maybe it's just because it's so close to my face, but it really seems to be um, a rich sound, I think. about a high G. <laughs> That's what it. And sometimes I can't get it out of nowhere. Up to E flat, very easy to get. Okay, so that's that. Then, when you get a little bigger, if you want a straight flute, you can buy the kit that changes it into a straight flute. So you get your regular flute mouthpiece on here, and you take off that little foot thing on the bottom and put on your C foot, like she said, put on your C foot. Okay, there's a ridge, Linda. You can figure this out. Oh, there it is right there. Which also eliminates, if you're a little smarter than I am, the question of exactly what angle you're going to put it on because you can only do it one way. Now, let's see if I can find the sweet spot here. I haven't done this too much, but as you can see now, except for the fact that it's blue and white, it looks like a regular flute. Watching, this is kind of a cool thing. If I can do it, comes with this little tool here. All right, this side of the tool, I can't really see it. Can you? It's kind of bright. Um, it's got a little rubber pad thing on it, and you can put it against the keys like this, and just turn it. And the silver thing will come off. You can replace it with colored ones if you want to. Um, then it's also got a little pry bar on the end. That's probably a little easier to see. What you can do is actually use that tool to take off the lip plate on the flute. All right. That part's pretty easy. There's a little tab right there, and you just fit the tool under there, she says confidently, and kind of pry that mouthpiece off. 
there. Okay, so now the lip plate's off. Okay, it comes with what they call, some plays around here, a first note, kind of like a recorder or a whistle type mouthpiece lip plate. And you put that on instead. And this is where I ran into a little trouble, but I think I've got it figured out. It's hard to get on, kind of. Take some firm pressure. And they assured me from the factory that after you've done it a few times, gets easier. So let's see if we can do it here. Oh, that was easy. All right. Did you hear the snap? So now I've got my little <laughs> lip plate on there. And if you've ever started a beginning flute player, you know that, of course, is the most challenging thing is to get them to make their first sound. So what you can do is put the lip plate on, or the first note lip plate, and then they just blow like a recorder and can learn the fingering without having to worry about how they're going to get a sound out of it. You notice the tone isn't as full or as rich as when you're playing it normally, but at least there's a sound. Hey, but I can get the high notes of this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you want to, but you can. So that's the first note lip plate. I don't know. I'd be interested to try it with some beginners and see if I were more successful that way than traditionally because, um, again, you wouldn't have to worry about how are you going to get a sound out at first. Ugh. Um, you can just think about fingering, and then later on when they've got the feel of the flute, then they can worry about embouchure. So those are my new toys, and if you actually watch this and are interested, um, I think they're marvelous fun. So I still think I should be getting paid by the company. Y'all stay warm this weekend. Bye-bye.